So hello guys, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video, I am going to create a flow to optimize my previous flow. So yesterday I uploaded a video over this channel. Uh, that flow is a after save update flow. And the thing is one of my subscribers shoot me an email that Shubham, this flow can be doable uh, like this. And he is absolutely right. Uh, that flow is can be optimized uh, to one single element. If you are confused what I am talking about, make sure you check out this video which is showing in the i button and I also provide the link in the description box. So make sure you check out that video. Otherwise this video is not going to be that much helpful to you. Now let me tell you the scenario. Let's say on account object we having a field out of business. Whenever an out of business is selected uh, on the account, we need to make all the opportunity stages to close lost though for those opportunities whose opportunities are open right now so let's create a new flow for that obviously it's going to be a record triggered flow and after save record triggered flow the thing is on the previous video i created a lot of stuff like i uses around six to seven elements on the previous video but by this technique you don't need to do all that kind of stuff just one update record element will do the job let me show you so here we go let's click on record triggered flow click next select free form select object as account our record is updated let's select a uh, condition requirements let's say and and here we are going to provide what is the entry criteria so entry criteria is whenever a user check the checkbox field which is out of business of our account so let's say out of business which is a checkbox field equals true and add one more condition out of business is changed boolean true so that means the previous value of out of business is false and now we are going to check the out of business field uh, make this uh, by default every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirement click action and related records click done now here's the thing i am assuming that you watched the previous video which i created for the same scenario but now i am going to optimize that flow so what you need to do is simply drag and drop a update record element provide label let's say update open opportunities api name will be automatically populated now here you need to select specify conditions to identify records and set fields individually. Select the third option. Now here you need to select opportunity because we are going to update opportunity records. In the filter condition, we need to select account ID because we need to fetch only those opportunities for which there is a account is in trigger right now, right? So for that trigger, we need to get all the related opportunities account id equals account that means record which is a global variable and it is it is storing account in it id so account id add one more condition where stage name equal does not equals closed one add one more condition stage name does not equal closed lost that means we are only gathering open opportunities means whose stages does not equals to closed one or either closed lost now set fields value for opportunity records here we need to set the value for which we are going to update so we are going to update the stage name as closed lost for all the opportunities that are open right so click done and that's it our flow is automatically ready so that much kind of power we have in salesforce flows that only a single update record element will do the job as you can see on the previous video we are using six more salesforce elements but this update record element will do the job let's click save let's provide the name uh, let's provide the label as optimized flow and click save a flow or process named optimized flow already exists okay i need to change the name 
let's say optimized flow change the api name and let's say zero click save let's activate your flow and one thing i need to consider that make sure there is only one flow which is activated on the opportunity so let's go to select record triggered flows this is also a new update in winter 22 like now we have the list views for triggered flows and the normal flows which is auto launched and screen flows now here you can see there's a one more flow optimized flow which is on account i am going to deactivate one flow so to deactivate a flow what you need to do is either you can open this flow and just deactivate from there or you can simply click over here click view details and versions and click de deactivate let's move back to accounts open accounts and let's move back to any account let's say grand hotels and resorts limited now here you can see all the opportunities are closed lost and either closed one so let me update one of the opportunities stage let's say i am going to choose id decision makers and click as mark as current stage now let's move to the account name again and let's change one more opportunity to open i did decision maker now move back to account name and now you can see two we have two open opportunities as i did decision maker and rest are closed one closed lost so whenever i'm going to update the checkbox value out of business as true all the open opportunities are going to closed so let's do it go to details go to the field which is right now it is already checked so let let me do it unchecked right now there is nothing no impact on our uh, opportunity as you can see id decision maker and id decision maker but now i am going to make this from false to true right and click save let's go back to related opportunities and here you can see all the two opportunities are moved to close closed right now let's say check whenever we don't have any closed opportunities let's try whether our uh, flow is going to show us some error or not because uh, we are going to update zero opportunities so that means we have no records if i deselect this and click save and i am again going to check it and click save so now you can see the flow is easily run and it does not throw any error and you can see it's the same result all opportunities are closed lost or either closed one so i hope this video will clear or give you more idea about salesforce flow that how we can optimize our salesforce flow like from six elements to one single element it's a big transformation into uh, after save update flow or I can say when we are going to update some records like we don't need to apply loop over it we don't need to use get record element we don't need to use null check for decision so that's the beauty of salesforce flow I hope you like this video and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos I will be I will be creating more and more such videos for salesforce flows so thank you so much for watching this video till now